let's go back to uh, Porta 2. Um, here we are, click on this. Um, a lot of people had trouble logging in because even though my browser supposedly saves my password, it doesn't actually work that way. So I have to enter it again. Okay, so I'm in. Um, if I go to curriculum information right here, I click on that, I see my classes. Um, so I've got uh, yeah, ALS2 and I've got uh, an IELTS preparation class, you know, speaking and other things. Um, if I click on, I'm trying to remember where I may have done this correct so I can show you what I did. Um, okay, I think if we look at the IELTS one, we'll see that, so I clicked on the class name and you can see here the bulletin boards, which Mike warned us about. It's, they're not actually bulletin boards that you're adding. It's an announcement that you're adding. Okay, and it's, it goes onto the bulletin board for that class. So anyone in that class can see it. And when you add something there, you can also send out an email. So in this case, I've written a message about um, textbooks. Um, you can see here, I've added a PDF. And all I did was add the attached file has important information about the textbooks for this class. They can come down here and click on this. So there's my name and my email address when I posted it this morning. Um, it's gonna stay up there until, uh, wait a minute, that's not here, I guess. But it's gonna stay up there until August anyway, so they can see it anytime. And if I click on it, which they might do, it'll open in a different window. And there's the information. Okay, for this class, you'll need this textbook. Um, if you've ordered the textbook, but you haven't got it yet, use this um, URL and this password and they can get the first couple of chapters. Um, now, just to be clear, I'll show you how I did that. So, I'm kind of showing you from the from the opposite end when it's already done, but I can show you uh, what I did here, maybe. Can't go back there. So okay, so let's start at the beginning. So I'm back in the home page. I've signed into Porta Two, and if I click on curriculum information, I have all my classes listed there, and there's a number of features I can use. Um, uh, oh yeah. um, uh, probably not an issue this term, but you can set it up. So if you've canceled the class or you've scheduled a makeup class, you can put that there. Um, this is, this is the one that's, this one's turned into a colored bulletin board because I've added something already. Um, research papers, if you've got something you want them to, to read for homework or whatever makes more sense in a lecture class in their native language, but uh, you might find a good use for it um, for our classes as well. Um, attendance information um, and about the final exams. And over here, this is about their grades yet, which I guess is mata mata. Okay, um, so if I click on this, let's say I wanna send them a message. I wanna send them their syllabus. So I click on here. Um, now I've got all the things I can do, all those things again that I could send to them. So I could cancel a class, schedule a makeup class. Bulletin board is what I'm gonna use, right? To make an announcement, to send them what I would hand out in class. Um, again, the research papers, I could upload something here if I want them to read it and stuff about the exam later on. So I go to bulletin boards, add, add an announcement, right? Add something. Um, so here I'm going to give it a title. So let's say syllabus. Um, and a message to them. Your typing is not showing up here. John, uh, yes. my screen is not changing when you're doing that. Yeah. Oh, really? It's not going to add bulletin board. Okay. Um, I guess I'm going to have to go back to the share and click on a different one because it's opening a separate window. So 
I'm going to stop that share. Now you should see me again. And then I'm going to go down to share screen again. And ah, here we are. So can you see both of those screens now or just the little pink one? Little tiny pink one? Yeah, just the little <laughs> pink one. Jim Hathaway has given me the... Only, only the pink one right now. Okay, well, that's fine. Um, basically, this tiny window opened up um, when, <laughs> when I clicked on add uh, the bulletin board, right? Add an announcement. So now I've got this little pink window. Um, it's for this particular class. So it's my IELTS preparation class. Um, giving it the title syllabus. Please find your syllabus. Oops. No, that's not going to work. Oh, there we are. Attached. This is the newest version. Something like that, because they've probably been looking at my general syllabus and things like that. Um, and now I can go back. Uh, I bet you can't see that window now. Did you see a new window open up with a list of files? Yeah. You do? Yep. Well, that's interesting. We see it. We see it. Okay, great. Okay, I'm glad you can see that. So, um, I hope I actually have that syllabus ready. I don't remember. Okay. Yeah, spring 2020 PDF. Um, so I'm gonna open that. And you see here, um, so I started with browse to find it and it just, opened a window in my computer so I could search for it. And there it is, I've added it. Um, I'm gonna go down here. So it's gonna, the notice period is gonna to start today and I'm gonna have it go until the end of August. And I'm gonna include my email here and I'm gonna send them a message saying that it's up here. I'm actually gonna set it for tonight because uh, I'm not sure if that syllabus is correct or not. I'll still have a chance to go in and check before uh, the message goes out, but for now, so it's set for seven o'clock. So, so basically all I did was in the big window, which you can't see now, you only see the pink one. Is that right? right. Mm -hmm. Okay. In the big window, I clicked on add bulletin board, meaning add an announcement to that class's bulletin board. Um, I'm sending them the syllabus, giving them a little introduction to it. I've added the file here and I've set the date from today until the end of August. Um, I'm giving them my email address so they can ask me any questions. I'm sending them an email, letting them know that uh, this is up here now. They can check it anytime they want. Um, I have a question here. Yeah, Cliff. Uh, so have you entered their email addresses? Uh, no, I haven't, because they're already registered. Okay. Yeah, so we don't have to do that. That's that's one of the good things about this system. And very that goes out automatically. Yeah. That answers yeah. one of the questions that I had. Um, when do we get the mailing list? But basically, this is the mailing list, yeah? That's right. Yeah, they're all registered. And um, anything you put up on their bulletin board, they will get. And if you click that little send by email, they'll also get a message in their regular Tokyo mail as well. So, so that's when I did, useful. sorry, John, to interrupt, but when I did my syllabuses uh, using this um, ad bulletin board, I put all my syllabuses onto Porter 2, but it actually would have, I clicked also send by email. I didn't put a time or anything, but um, they would have got my syllabuses then by email? Yeah, they should have, if, right. if unless you put it up before they were registered, but most classes have been on there for quite a while. I think the um, the elective classes just went up in the last couple of days, but uh, now everything should be on there. So yeah, if I send this, so I'm gonna click entry. Um, it says your entry is not finalized. Check the entry details and click on entry on the entry button. So it's just telling me again, this is giving me a summary. So here's here's my title. Here's my message to them. Um, there's me and my address. I didn't include any URLs, but there's the attached file. I'm sending them my syllabus. Um, it will be sent out as email as well, tonight at seven. And yeah, to this class. 
and you don't have to worry about that. It's gonna get it right every time because you're already in their class page when you send this bulletin, okay? And if I click entry, uh, Larry, you have a question? Yes, uh, how about if you put something up on the, like I put my syllabus up and the syllabus that I put up was with the intention of having actual classes in classrooms and I wanted to remove it and I couldn't find any way to remove the syllabus that I had up there. Do you know how? Was it up there as a bulletin? Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm not sure how to erase them, but I would send an, a message as a bulletin saying, um, please disregard the last one. Here's the new one. Please use this and we'll talk about it in class on Tuesday or whatever. Uh, there are there are instructions in the last page that Mike sent us with the English version of using bulletin boards, etc. There's instructions on the last page on how to delete bulletins. It still shows the bulletin there, but you get a little message deleted. Oh, okay. Um, so we would still see it with a deleted yes. mark, but the students yes. won't see it at all? I don't know whether they um, see the original with deleted next to it, but um, it's, uh, it is deleted. Okay, well, it's, it's, it's worth looking it into. It, it just says deleted. Okay. Um, in any case, By the way, excuse me, John. Yeah. You know, I noticed that you know, this is the newest version. Each time you put it on, you say the newest, and, and it gets confusing. You might want to put the date of <laughs> yeah. the, the newest version. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. I'm hoping that this is the only version that I'll have to send um, yeah. for the rest of this term. So, But you're right. That would make it clearer, I'm sure. And as, yeah. as long as you're you're telling the students at every opportunity that, this is potentially confusing and here's what you should be following, then you're probably going to be okay. So John, just, just one thing as well. Yeah. Um, you're not showing on the bottom of your screen there, the second entry button that's to be pushed. We've oh, you, you can't see that? I can see it. I see it. Right here. Yeah. I don't see the second entry button there. Well, that's interesting. Uh, it's, it's the same button, but you just have to press it a second time. Yes. That's right. Yes. Yeah. This one, right? You can't see that, Jim? No. The bottom line I've got is 2020. Uh, it's oh, just below yeah. that. I don't know if I can make that. You need to shrink your screen size, a smaller percentage on your screen, uh -huh. Jim. That makes sense. Um, anyway, so, yeah, basically it's just an entry button at the very bottom there. So it says it's not finalized. It's giving me a chance to check all this again before I send it out. It looks okay to me, so I'm gonna click on entry again. And entry of syllabus to the bulletin board is completed, okay? Um, you can save it as a template if you're writing a lot, but no need to, okay? There's no need to unless you're, you know, you're gonna use that very same message over and over again. But, you know, here is the latest syllabus is not that difficult to type out many times. So anyway, um, so I can just clear this. And uh, actually, nothing happens. I can just uh, close that window. Uh, so, what can you see now? Are you seeing? No, no oh. we're back. Oh, we're back. Okay. All right. So, let me just go back one more time. Since I had to close the little pink one, I can go back to the main one. So, here I am back in this class, and it it doesn't look like there's a new bulletin in here yet. Okay, it still just has the textbooks one. It doesn't have the syllabus one. But if I go up here and I uh, refresh, and I go back to curriculum information, I go back to my IELTS class, and I click on here. There it is. Okay, so they've got a message from me about textbooks. They got a message from me about the syllabus.